I wake up in the morning, thank the most high. Husband, seven kids, thought I stopped at five. A roller coaster ride, German Shepherd by my side. Love the holidays, come along for the ride. If you try to copy this and don't give me my props, I'm a train without brakes, shot, it can't be stopped. It's your mouth you drop, it's the mic I drop. Do it all from an Android, no help, no geeks, no prop, no team of yes men, not even a laptop. Let's go. Hey y'all, it's day one of Vlogmas and I am so excited. But today is starting off a little rocky because y'all know I got, well, y'all may not know, but I have twin adult children. So they're grown, 21 years old. Yeah. But I have two teenagers. Oh my goodness. They, they do not like to get up and get started. They don't like it. They don't like for me to wake them up early. They don't like for me to keep pounding them about, okay, now we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. <sighs> so I have the two adult children, which are twins. I have my two teenage children. I have a um, little kid who is in elementary. The one who you guys may have seen me like seen helping me in some of my videos make the little brownies and cookies and things of that nature but um i also have another set of twins which are infants so it's kind of hard for me in the morning because i've been up since two o'clock this morning i've been up up because the infants are still waking up at different times i had one twin wake up at about two and then as soon as I got him settled and down, calmed down where he was falling back to sleep, then the twin woke up, his twin woke up. Um, so he woke up at about, I want to say about 3.30, 3.45 he woke up. Um, then I had to get him to calm down, get settled. And once he starts to kind of do like he's about to fall asleep, then it's time for me to wake my six-year-old up to get him off on the school bus so y'all when I tell y'all I have been up up and this is a regular for me so y'all are not gonna get if y'all looking for a vlog that's gonna show you like a lot of fakeness a lot of like look like they in the magazine somewhere um yeah the, you're not gonna get that here <laughs> this is completely my real life so the only difference is this is around the holiday time so you guys are going to get to see me do a little shopping you're going to get to see me doing some wrapping gift wrapping i'm going to give you guys a couple of my outfits of the day and we're just going to make it fun i want to get my nails done because it's time for a fill-in y'all it's time for a fill-in i went short because i'm trying to take care of my real nail underneath but i think i may go back home I think I may go back long. What you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Should I go long or what? But anyway, day one of Vlogmas. Just dropped the kids off on my way back to the house. And I will see you guys there. Okay, so I bought this at the Dollar Tree. And it was $5. It's the four foot tree. Um, I'm going to see what I can do with it. I got some ribbons and stuff. And I wanted to try to put another tree at my front entry on this little table that I have. So we shall see how it works out. I want to make it um, just a different color tree. Because the tree in my living room I want blue because it's my favorite color. But the one at the door I want something different. So let's work it out. Let's make it happen. You know how I do. Mm. Making me a little lunch. I'm starting up my frozen mixed vegetables and a little bit of water. And then once it's boiled for a few minutes, I'm gonna add my beef noodles. It's lunch time. So this is what we having for lunch today. Well, what I'm having for lunch because kids are in school. I got the babies with me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prepare my lunch and then while it's cooling down, I'm gonna go ahead and feed the babies. And hopefully, hopefully after they get fed and changed, they'll take a good nap. So, we shall see. So, this is how my noodles look before I add my seasonings. This is not even with my seasonings. This is because I, I put a little something, something extra in there. And I'm about to add my seasoning. Yep. I'm only going to add a half a pack. But like I said, I'm about to 
when this is done, I'm going to get my baby straight while it cools down. And then I'll be ready to eat my lunch. Okay, there it is, party people. I am done. This is my four foot tree that I got from the Dollar Tree. And uh, with a whole lot of tussling and, and going on, I was able to pull it together with all items from the Dollar Tree. Everything that you see on this tree, I got from the Dollar Tree. So, yeah, I feel like it came along pretty good, um, especially considering the fact that it was one of their $5 trees. I was a little worried, like, mm, how it's going to look, but I was able to put it on my table at my front entrance, my foyer area, and... I pretty much made the color red, white, and silver. I got the red balls from Dollar Tree. If you want to know how I make my clusters, mm, I'm debating on if I want to do that. To show you guys how I do my um, ornament clusters. But this is the tree. I finally got it up after tussling with the babies and trying to do this off and on. So it was hard for me to try to actually film myself doing it. But there it is. I did it, y'all. Well, y'all, when I tell y'all that school time, it goes by fast. <laughs> Sometimes when you're trying to get a lot done, it goes by fast. But I'm already about to pick up my kids from school. I tried to get a little bit done today. I was able to accomplish maybe two or three things, maybe, if that. But, you know, it is what it is. But... That's just how it is being <laughs> a part of a big family. Sometimes you don't get things done. Sometimes you're not. That's why I try to always just set a goal to say, I at least want to finish this. I may start on a few things, but I at least want to finish this. So about to get my kids out of school. And when I get back to the house, shower up, change clothes dinner time my mother-in-law is at the house with the infants she want to spend some time with them because she's only in town for a little bit so i'm so grateful for her because while she's been here she's been a big big help and i really appreciate her and i appreciate uh, my father-in-law as well they have been such a big help and uh sharing their love and their time with their grandkids and um, I couldn't ask for a better, I couldn't ask for better in-laws, put it like that. But anyway, yep, about to get the kids out of school and I will see you guys later.